This activity is called Psalm Relay, and it's going to show your kids many different examples of worship and praise songs that are found in the Bible in the book of Psalms. Your kids are going to take words from different psalms, different verses, and they're going to take those words and try to put them into the correct order. All right, now today we are talking about I worship God when I sing to Him, okay? What are you doing when you sing? You're singing a, a song, usually that's the case. Did you know that there is a book in the Bible that is solely made up of songs? Kind of sounds like songs. What book in the Bible sounds like Psalms? Psalms, very good. The book of Psalms is filled with songs. Happy songs, sad songs, songs that ask for things, but it was written specifically to worship God in many different ways. Okay? So I wanna do a little relay to help us learn some of the songs that are in the book of Psalms. All right, so I'm gonna stand up. Uh, let's have everybody come over here and line up in a single file line. Now what I've got here is I've got some words to a psalm, okay? And it is from, let me see, Psalm 24.1, okay? Now all these are mixed up and there are words to the psalm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the psalm, then I'm gonna say go. You're gonna run down, grab a word, come back, just keep doing it until all the words are down. And then once all of the words are down, you gotta work together to put it together in the order that I gave. I'm only gonna tell you once, you gotta listen carefully at the very beginning, all right? And then we'll come back after we do three or four of them, we'll do the same three or four and I'll time each one and see if you can do better the second time than you did the first time, okay? All right, here is the first one. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, go. Okay, she's got one. Sam. Okay, good, 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 good. That's 10 seconds. All right, we're 15. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Well, we're getting there. I think there's only uh, one more left after. Oh, there's two more left. Okay, here we go. Get that one. Now there's one more left. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, now you guys, Susie gets back, put them down on the floor, get them in the right order. Do you remember what I said? Do you remember the song that I gave to you from the book of Psalms? Let's see, they got the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. What, Psalm 24, one? Yes, 45 seconds. That's pretty good. All right, so let's do several more and I'll write down that one. Give me that pen back there, would you? I'll write down 45 seconds by this one. And when we come back and do it next time, we'll see if we can beat that, okay? All right, so line up, let's do another one. All right, you guys did very good. Two of the verses that we did, you beat your time. Two of the ones were close, just not quite. But you guys did very good, all right? Now just to note, um, on your sheet, there are some older kids' verses and there's some younger kids' verses. Um, the older kids' verses, maybe for your third, fourth, and fifth graders, um, you would use them because they're a little bit longer uh, in nature. All right. Now, what did I say earlier about songs? They're found in the Bible where? In the book of Psalms. Are all of the songs in the Bible in the book of Psalms or are there some other places too? There's, <laughs> there are some in other places too. In fact, uh, Mary sang a song when she found out that she was gonna have Jesus. The Israelites sang a song when they got on the other side of the Red Sea. But we're specifically talking about the book of Psalms where all these songs are, okay? But you guys did very good putting them together and remembering them. Do you think it's important for us to remember songs that are written in the Bible? Okay, so if we're gonna remember them, what do we need to do, do you think? Well, what should we do first? Read them, yes, we have to read them. That would be the first step. Oh, well, the first step would be open your Bible, <laughs> then read them, but then, do you guys, have any of you guys ever memorized a verse before? Okay. Sometimes it's hard. Usually what I'll do to memorize a verse is I'll just read it over and over and over. I don't get too upset if I read it and I go back the next day and I can't remember it. I just read it again and I keep doing that. And you know what? After about six, seven days of doing that every day, I remember the verse. Okay. So it's important as we've been talking about, I worship God when I sing to Him. A song doesn't necessarily have to be sung. It can just be stated, like in a memory verse. 
So I'd like for you guys this week to go into the book of Psalms and try and find one verse that you like. And you don't have to sing it, I just want you to memorize it, okay? Because the Bible is full of great songs, especially in the book of Psalms. And when we have those stored in our heart, it helps us to worship God.